A quake watch was in effect from 9 to 11 November in particular. This was because of the convergence of critical planetary and lunar geometry on 8, 9 November. And as you can see, a clustering of larger earthquakes peaking magnitude 7 on 9 November. And also on the 11th, a magnitude 7.3 in the Tonga region. And just this morning, a magnitude 6.9, which is pretty much an aftershock in the Fiji region due to the increased seismic activity that we've seen over the past days. If we look at the coming week, we see multiple planetary alignments, critical planetary geometry, in particular involving Mars. This afternoon, Venus, Sun, Mars at 14.55 UTC. And then in two days, Mercury, Sun, Mars. On the 16th, Sun, Mercury, Venus. This one almost always results in increased seismic activity, usually borderline 6. And then Venus, Mercury, Mars on the 19th. This is also one to keep an eye on. If we go to the SGI graph, we see a convergence of critical planetary geometry and lunar geometry on the 15th and 16th. This is likely going to trigger increased seismic activity, especially on the 16th, 17th. Could be higher, 6, maybe larger. But we also have Venus, Sun, Mars today, just following the lunar peak, which means there is a higher probability of increased seismic activity, continuation of stronger seismic events today, maybe tomorrow. It's a bit difficult to make estimates here after the major seismic activity, especially in the Fiji region. There were deep seismic events, and it is very likely that aftershocks may continue for some time. But like I said, the convergence of critical planetary and lunar geometry on 15 and 16 November is quite obvious and larger seismic activity may occur perhaps already on the 15th but most likely on the 16th and 17th and this could be higher six maybe even magnitude seven we should definitely anticipate a clustering of strong seismic events following this critical planetary geometry then on the 19th critical planetary geometry then a high lunar peak 18 on the index this is the Venus Mercury Mars conjunction and what makes it critical is the fact that it is followed almost instantly by a high lunar peak which means there is a high potential for a strong to major seismic event around the 20th give or take one day could be the 21st if it arrives a bit late I also say this with the critical planetary and lunar geometry in mind here on the 15th and 16th if larger seismic activity arrives late it may be with the next lunar peak or just following the next lunar peak. In any case, increased seismic activity is likely to occur in the coming week, so be on watch. In the solar system, we see Venus, Sun and Mars coming up this afternoon. Then in two days, we have Mercury, Sun and Mars, followed on the 16th by Venus, Mercury and the Sun. Then on the 19th, we see a conjunction with Venus, Mercury and Mars. Always check out the website for the latest forecast, the magnitude probability in particular. We also post frequent updates in social media. We are also on Facebook, so pick the one you feel most comfortable with. Be safe everyone, until next time.